you can create any design with a simple object and here I'm going to use the rounded cube just increase its subdivision up to 6 now you need to go to the edit mode and you need to select the center edges and then add a bevel on them then select these parts and then move them in different axes to achieve that cubical form at there in this way and then you can add more supportive loop cuts at there we have solved the first problem which is getting the form then you can use the knife tool and you can create a cut in this way and then take the symmetry along the x axis and z axis you can see this design we have created at here then you can select these edge loops and then add a bevel on them add a one segment bevel at there then add a center loop cut and then select the words and then connect them then you can dissolve these edges and you will get this kind of face loop structure it is not completely right we will work on it later on then select this face loop and then press P for the selection to make a different object then select these faces and then press P for the selection to make a different object and now we have got three different objects added there then start to work on this outer object you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the loop structure around this detail create a simple cut like this and then start to create that loop structure then you can select these words and merge them and then here you need to delete the edge so that's why first you need to select the faces and you need to delete only faces and then you can delete that edge and then you can select all the words and then press F to fill the gap next thing you can take the symmetry add there so select everything and then mesh symmetrize take the symmetry then you can start to work on the second object you can turn on the wireframe then select these words and then connect them and here you need to add one loop cut and just try to give the right position to these words and then create a cut at here then you can dissolve that edge at there and you will get the right face loop added there then you can select everything mesh and then symmetry so take the symmetry and now you can see we have got the right face loops added there and you can see the border of outer object and inner object it's matching properly you can see their topology then you can add this kind of loop cuts to maintain that form then one more time use the knife tool and create one more loop structure add there in this way then you can select these words and then merge them and then one more time take the symmetry then go to the matcap view and check the shading everything looks right then you can start to work on this third part just add some demodifier on it and then go to the edit mode and use the insert operation and you will get this kind of decent looking form you can see then you can dissolve this edge loop because it's create triangle at there so that's why you can dissolve that edge loop and you will get right topology at there and you can select everything and extrude it along its normal to add the thickness to it and give the proper offset then check the face orientation so select everything and then press alt n to recalculate the normal and now you are getting the right face orientation also then you can add more supportive loop cuts to maintain that form and here you can adjust the position of the loop cut little bit you can use the shape flow add there or you can move it with the move tool and then you can add more supportive loop cuts and shade smooth it on the center form I can select these edges and I can move them along their normal and I can create that curve inner part by just moving these words along the y axis in this way in this way you can get this kind of design if you want to support this channel then you can join the membership so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye so next video take care